All righty, so Cedar Fair has made their official kind of announcements. I'm going to call them almost like a soft opening of announcements. Um, that is my prediction strictly. I don't 100% know if this is all Cedar Fair is going to announce. There is a paragraph that Cedar Fair has posted on their website. Um, where they made their announcements that has me thinking that some of the rides um, coming to the parks in 2022 haven't been announced yet. And this is somewhat of a soft announcement. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but uh, I'll go. I'll read this one sentence that has me thinking a few rides are still in the works. Um, and that is these investments include ongoing reserve uh, renovations at Castaway Bay and Sawmill Creek Resort. Um, properties at Cedar Point, as well as the addition of new rides, plural, attractions, plural, and guest amenities across our parks in the U.S. and Canada. So that's the one sentence that's on Cedar Fair's website with every single park's kind of like additions uh, announced. Again, I'm going to call it soft announce. And I do have a feeling that um, some parks may see a few rides announced. Anyways, um, one of the main things that was announced for Canada's Wonderland was um, a new big restaurant. The biggest one in the chain, I believe. I could be incorrect about that, but I'm going to call it the biggest restaurant in the chain. Why not? Um, that is going to come in the... My prediction, Firework Hill at Canada's Wonderland. I have seen enough construction markers and spray paint in that area to suggest that a giant restaurant is coming there. It's going to house over 500 seats. It's going to have indoor and outdoor fireplaces. It's going to overlook Frontier Canada and uh, Yukon Striker. Again, the best view would be on the other side of the lake. It's going to be a wilderness lodge theme. Um, I have a little bit of a rendering that some of our engineers are working on a specific project for Canada's Wonderland that fits the design of this that I'll put up on the screen. But nonetheless, um, this is going to be massive. It's going to be amazing. It's going to house... What I would assume is, sorry about that, <laughs> what I assume is going to be um, kind of like an area where they can have Winterfest shows in the winter indoors and you're able to eat and sit down. So definitely a double benefit. That's what the American parks that have these Harmony Halls and Fest Hosses do with it. So nonetheless, that's super exciting. I know a lot of enthusiasts right now are probably like, what, really nothing at any of the parks? At Canada's Wonderland, not even a, a flat ride? Trust me, there's... I shouldn't say trust me in this instinct because I actually don't know. Um, I, I am expecting a dark ride or at least a flat ride at Canada's Wonderland, but I actually don't know that. I'm going to be totally transparent with you. I don't know. Um, the only information I have to go off that I think that a dark ride is coming to Canada's Wonderland is based off of things that were said in 2019 at Yukon's Media Day to us. And look, we were right. One of them did come true. One of the things that were said to us in 2019 happened to come true, and it's the Fest Haas Harmony Hall that is coming to Canada's Wonderland. That's going to be a cabin design. We've been kind of teasing this um, for the beginning portion of the season. We knew this was coming. Um, not that we knew because we had blueprints or anything. Again, we're not that kind of channel anymore. We're not going to be leaking blueprints to a new ride. If I know something's coming... Um, I'll talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it in a really discreet way. And if I do know something's coming, it is based off of my knowledge and uh, my understanding of construction and work at theme parks now. So I'm not going to be leaking anything that I shouldn't be leaking. I'm going to respect the park. Um, we have a great relationship, and I don't want to ruin that. So nonetheless... Um, we knew this was coming just based off of the sewage markings that were here, the green paint, which is water main and sewage, definitely a restaurant building or a building. Um, and then the outline, it was a complete massive outline on Firework Hill. So we know that some massive building was coming and that Wonderland was looking at building a really awesome building similar to Harmony Hall. And it's supposed to have some of the most beautiful architecture to it. And if you follow us on Instagram, you should follow us on Instagram because we've been teasing um, a little bit on Instagram, just like a little fun teasing based off of our predictions for 2022. Again, don't fret. I do think that a ride could be coming to Canada's Wonderland, but that is a stretch. Um, again, based off of information that was told to us um, at Yukon Strikers Media Day. 
about the park's future development um, and that we, you know, uh, one of it ended up being true. So I'm assuming the second part of 2022 should end up being true as well. So a dark ride would make sense in action theater. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if maybe that was pushed off. But with the amount of money that they announced for 2022, I didn't really expect anything to be pushed off. So I am still expecting a little bit more of an announcement. And I know that Wonderland in their little email to us with this media package um, it did say that there was more information coming, but it was in reference to the restaurant. It didn't necessarily hint at more information coming about 2022. So we don't really, again, it is a stretch, but we do know that the park is going to make an announcement in the next two weeks, approximately. So stay tuned for that information. They did say stay tuned. Um, and we'll let you guys know if we know anything more. Comment down below what you guys think about this new amazing restaurant coming to Canada's Wonderland. I know I'm really excited. I love Winterfest, and I love the fact that the park is heading towards more of a all-season round park. Again, nothing was announced about that yet. We just know that Winterfest may have a potentially expanded season by a couple weeks, if a week, um, and that they may start um, a spring festival. Maybe, potentially. We're not sure yet. Nothing announced yet about that, but we know Cedar Fair is looking at Kendra's Wonderland to extend its season. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye!